I like oranges. Not every day, but an occasional orange is good. Here we have a model that's orange. It's an MAN TGX XLX 6x4 with a Nutterbaum 5 axle trailer. It is a limited edition and it's in the colours of the Belgian crane hire and haulage company Michielsen's. As you can see, the packaging is the standard type that WSI uses for its haulage models. It's always nice to have some information about a model, and this one has a small booklet about the Notabom trailer. There's some nice information and photos about the real trailer, and that all helps to bring a model alive. After that, the booklet has information about the model and its various configurations. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. <music> To assemble the model, we'll join the tractor and trailer, and as usual, clunk click does the trick. After that, the only thing to do is to add marker boards under the gooseneck. We start by looking under the MAN, and as usual with WSI trucks, the detailing is really nice. The exhaust system and various tanks are modelled and there's full chassis detail and different tyres front and rear. The cab has two large beacon lights on the roof and colour-coded door mirrors, and the Machielson's name sits above the MAN grille. There's a number plate and warning sign, and realistic looking lights. On the side of the cab the decoration is fairly simple with a large hook, and there's a smaller graphic on the wheel arch. The wheels look smart and behind the cab there's an equipment cabinet, and there are coiled lines and a grab rail. Behind the cabinet there's a large area of diamond plated surface and the rear lights have plastic lenses. The Notabom MCO PX 5 axle trailer is very detailed. There are tanks modelled and various hoses and cables and there are also a set of wheel chocks. The structure of the model is all metal so it is very strong and the pendle axles are nicely detailed in metal. A high point are the tiny graphics on the trailer some of them are extremely small and they give the trailer an authentic look. The Michelson's name is overprinted onto metallic paint. The rest of the gooseneck has textured surfaces and the tiny Notabom emblems look great. Another high point is the high quality detailing on the deck and that includes plastic replica timbers with bolt hole locations and there are highlighted bolt heads for the access plates over the pendle axles. Moving to the back of the trailer there are yet more tiny graphics and the realism is completed with all of the graphics at the back of the trailer. With the MAN on its back we see that the rear axles spin freely and there's a better than usual range of steering movement. As always let's get on to the Cranes Etc Super Highway and the MAN rolls along really nicely. And with the steering set the pose is good, and you can play at driving along the truck. The tilting cab works very well, it tilts to a good angle and stays tilted. And it does reveal a very detailed engine underneath. Moving on to the trailer and there's no suspension on the front two axles and we'll see why shortly. But the rear three axles do have a nice springiness. There is proportional steering on the rear four axles. Let's move at breakneck speed to the gooseneck, and there's no breaking the neck of this trailer. It's just that the gooseneck hydraulics have excellent movement. The landing legs can be lowered, but to do that you need to pull out the tiniest of pins, and then you can lower the leg and spend 15 minutes trying to find the pin and put it back in. There is another feature on the axles of the trailer, and here you see that all five are grounded. But we don't want to wear out the tyres when it's sitting in the display case empty so you can clip them up and raise them out of service. And here you can see there's a decent gap between the tyres and the road. The other usual features on this model are the deck posts that you can fit, 
they are metal and get put into holes on the deck. And if you want more width, you can pull out the supports and place planks between them. Another feature of the trailer, and it's one that makes it so flexible, is the ability to extend its length. So here we're trying to replicate that with the rear of the trailer locked in position, and the driver in the MAN is attempting to pull forward to lengthen the trailer. Once that's done, you do get an impressively long vehicle, and only you will know if you've got something long enough to fit on it. But one thing is for certain, I've certainly got something long enough to put on it. In fact, I've got several things, and they are long steel beams. And these loads are needed for a Meccano fabrication site. As it is a Machilson's truck, it would be appropriate to load parts of a mobile crane. This is another highly detailed heavy haulage vehicle from WSI Models. And if you like orange, the Machilson's colour scheme is certainly attractive. This would also be a really nice model to have with a mobile crane in the same colour scheme. So all things considered, this tractor-trailer combination is excellent. Music 